Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we are in a bit of a stressful situation to be sure. Look at all this stress. We've been having tons of stress building up. However, we're now in a situation, now that we've gotten all of these upgraded, where we can be a lot freer with our money. That means a couple of things. We can go to war, which would be nice to do again. And on top of that, we can also throw money at those events to make them go away instead of taking stress. And that will, of course, be a very good thing. Now, is our Hogan currently endorsing us? He is. Okay. Now, we do need to deal with our half-sister. She's a problem. We could release our anger on her. It's an act of tyranny. But you know what? She's only skill 7 martial and 6 prowess. What is our prowess? Our prowess is 10. So in theory, this should be fine. We'll release our angle, anger and let's see here. Medium and high. Medium. Yeah, we're going to take low and medium. Maybe she'll trip on her axe. Dual handicap rank 4, huh? Very high increase to our likelihood of injury, but we're going to take it. And we win. We are victorious. We challenged our regent to single combat, and we won. She is now wounded, and that should have dropped our stress level a little bit. But apparently it didn't. That's intriguing. We can allegedly end our entrenched regency. I would love to be able to do this, but unfortunately, we simply cannot. So there's not much that can be done there. We can swing the scales against her, and I'm going to leverage prestige and do that. Absolutely. And we would love to end the Entrenched Regency, but we need to continue to turn power against her. Now, we do not have these Accolade Successors. Can we get those set up? Well, we'll need to seek a worthy successor here. This guy's a Vanguard and a Scoundrel right now. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. It's really only the primary one that matters. We'll put this guy in as our successor for the Scorpion of Kong North. And we already have a successor for the most expert of the Mel Spears. So that looks good. We're maxed out here. And I think that that means that it's time to start going after some of these additional locations. Now, how close are we to the Empire of Maghreb? We need a lot. 42 counties. What about Abyssinia? <laughs> Similarly far away. Okay, so we probably want to go for something like Mercuria. All we've got is a duchy and a, and a county conquer CB here. We could potentially go, however, for claimants. There's a lot of potential claimants here. So, this guy is how far? Five reasons away. That's interesting. Do we have anybody who would just come? Five reasons away? We can definitely get one of these guys. But I'm just checking to see if any of these will come for free. The answer is no. And this guy is 47. The other one who was five reasons away is 34. So we'll target this guy. We just send him a gift. And we invite him to court. Fantastic. So he'll come in our court. Okay, there's that 60 stress. Perfect. She's also wounded. She's feeling fine. So hopefully she'll die eventually, but probably not. So we gained 25 stress from that because we're shy, but that is still a net negative in stress for us, so that is absolutely great. A dangerous faction? This is a fake faction, isn't it? This is Liberty Faction. I'm not going to declare anything just yet. Yes. Confirmed that is indeed a fake faction. So that looks good. There is apparently a real faction in here somewhere, though. Nope, there is not. Okay, we want to go for Mercuria here, and that is absolutely fine. We press this guy's claim. 4,500 prestige. Okay. Claimant of a different religion is 1,000 of that. Low legitimacy is another 1,500. So, to that end, we're going to demand this guy's conversion, and he will convert over. That is perfect. So, now if we declare this, this is 2,250. Low legitimacy is 750 of that. So, we can work up our legitimacy by building up some titles here. We need 1,200 total. So, we need 120 total legitimacy. That's going to be a lot of gold, potentially. But we can create the Kingdom of Nubia. That'll cost 400 gold. How long until we can extort our subjects? That's a while. Okay. So, we're going to tick forward a little bit here. We need to get 400 gold. Okay, we're now known as the Hunchback. Yeah, fair enough. That is absolutely a thing. I'm wondering right now... Wait, our sister and rival? 
We can't imprison her because she's our diarch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Th that's very strange that she appears in the list, but okay. So we're 360 gold right now. We need to get a little bit more. So, more gold. We're hoping that our sister makes us some gold. We are hoping that we get a gold event. An accolade successor, that's good. So we can definitely put that guy in over here. Okay, skill 12? Noted. So we're going to have to go down over here, find this guy, force him to be a knight, and put him in here. Okay, perfect. That'll be fine for the time being. And I do want to create the Kingdom of Nubia. Absolutely. This is out over here. So that'll give us some de jure claims down over this way. Okay, that's fine. In the meantime, we could attack Kordofan here. This would be just a co county conquer. 150 prestige. You know what? Let's do it. I want to see if we raise up our men-at-arms only. I want to see where our economy is at. So we're going to head in over here and see how that goes. We're going to need additional... Ooh, feudal taxes to us were increased. Okay, that's good. I, I want to see how this goes. I want to see our number of troops here. Should be okay. Our quality of troops will be phenomenal, of course. Okay, this is considered even. I don't think this is actually even. I think we win this. Minus 0.3. Okay, that is noted. We have a dopey cat, which is actually a good thing for us. That will help us with our stress relief. Yeah, as expected. We easily win this. We don't have the troops to, like, stack wipe it, but that's fine. We don't need to. Our level of splendor went up, and court amenity settings were just invalidated. Hang on, what just happened there? Was that our court amenity settings? No. Why were we notified about that? Okay. Can we get away with dropping this? Yes, we can. Right here. Do it. That will save us a decent amount of gold per month, which would be great while keeping us above our court grandeur target. So I'm very pleased to see that. That means that we have 6.5 extra gold in the, in the slush fund here, and I'm very, very pleased about this situation at this point. So we're going to get Cordofan under our control here. And then we're going to go attack Mercuria after. Let's see how much we get from this siege. Three months left on this siege. Okay. Who do we have leading this? Siege leader? Okay. Looks good. Eight days per siege event, and it's going okay. It's a kind of slow siege, though. No doubt about that. So 20 days left here. And 10 days left. What cruel degenerate was behind this? Someone attempted to kill us, and they ended up killing our lover instead. That isn't great. Okay, so that, of course, means that we need a new wife. She was not our primary wife, so that's fine. We'll go with, like, this person? Sure. That seems fine. So this war is over, and we are going to, of course, enforce these demands. And disband these troops. Now, we can actually hold this ourselves, <laughs> which is mildly remarkable. I suppose we could start working on increasing control levels here. We'll need to let this tick forward a bit. There we go. Okay. So we're at minus 1.0 income right now. This is because we are reinforcing our men-at-arms. That will be done very, very shortly. And we'll be making money again very soon after. Eventually. There we go. Now we're making a solid income. We've got 405 gold. I want to create the Kingdom of Nubia. We can hold that ourselves, or we could grant it out. And I'm going to give it to this lady, I think. Hmm. I think it's okay. So, she is definitely someone who revolted against us. We'll ransom her. Oh, that's just for a hook? Okay, I don't care about a hook. So in that case, I'm just going to grant her the kingdom title, and she's probably going to stay in prison. But she'll be very happy about it. Excellent. So this is going to end up going over to her, but that does boost up our legitimacy. We currently need to get about an additional 70 legitimacy. So that's going to be a fair number of duchy titles. No doubt about that. This ransom is acceptable. We would absolutely love to get ourselves some gold. Now, checking in on this war. We can afford this at this point. Even with the low legitimacy malice. And I think it's okay. I think we should do this. 
So I'm going to declare this war. He has about 10,000 troops in total. So we can think about how we want to approach. I think... Awkward that there's the castle here. But that pretty much means that we want to raise up our forces about here, right? That's currently occupied by rebel troops, though. But I don't think that actually matters. Maybe it does. Yeah, we can't place there. Okay, so we'll raise up our forces here, and let's raise some men-at-arms. We're going to need to raise a fair, a fair amount here. Do we want to pay to repair this? This is our regalia. And how much is that going to cost? Uh, no, it's too expensive. We're going to get rid of it. We're just kind of sacking this. We should have destroyed it, but it's fine. So he called in a holy order. That should be okay. We'll see where his army turns up, and we want to start to siege out over here. We're going to need to raise up quite a lot of forces. There they are. Okay. That's a good spot for us. Men-at-arms have arrived. They're walking into this. They should not walk into this. This is not smart. Why are they walking into this? Okay. So, uh, this battle's not going to go well for them. This battle's going to go very, very poorly. I don't know why they chose this. There's no reason that they should have chose this. Okay, so we're going to finish our gather, and I'm going to split off a fair amount of onagers and levy forces here. I'm going to split our force roughly in half. I'm going to take these guys, actually, maybe not in half. Hang on. I'm going to redo that. We're going to move out these onagers, and I'm going to give about 5k levy forces. Something like this. I want this to be a siege leader, so this will be probably this guy. He's going to come out over here. Next, we are going to walk these guys up over here. Ooh, 45 stress reduction, and a king becomes our friend. Done. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, we are negative right now, and we must spare no expense to rebuild. We need to wrap up this war pretty quickly, right? No doubt about that. I'm going to have these guys walk up here. They are going to take attrition there. And at this point, I want to see... Mm, they're turning around here. They've got 12k. I'm going to walk back over this way. I'm wondering right now. Heavy infantry and archers. Heavy infantry, archers, cavalry, camels. And heavy infantry. Okay. They're actually going to catch us here. And that's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. We may want to hire more mercs. They definitely murked up and brought in a holy order. But we'll see how this battle goes. The game thinks we're going to win. Cat rejection. Very rude. Okay. The game thinks we're going to win it, and yeah, it seems absolutely fine. Now, we're in debt, and Boron got a corruption for that. So that's probably a priority over Cordifan. Cordifan is not something we're planning to hold long term. So we're going to work on Boron over here. Now, we are slightly in debt at this time. And that's not surprising given what we've got going on right now. I want to know what's our situation with our Hogan. Yep, this is fine. No problem there. So we win that battle. And we should probably come back and resupply our units. Our cash is a significant concern at this point. So I'm going to sort these guys out, and it'll be something like this. We're 33% war score right now. Our friend died. That gave us some stress. And we want this guy to be our chancellor. Looks good. This siege is going to finish in three months. This is happening fairly slowly. And our reinforcement isn't really going to be happening because of our finances. This guy wants to send us a gift of 191 gold, and we absolutely accept that. That will help. But it won't solve our problem by any means. So this siege has completed. That gives us 33 gold. At this point, we should group our army fully together. And we do get a new stewardship perk here. Do we want to take War Profiteer or Hergeld? War Profiteer is probably just better at this point. Although monthly income per stress level, we are at stress level 2. This is probably even better at this point. So we'll do that. That cuts our deficit. But it by no means solves the overall problem, right? So that is fine. I want to check in at our royal court here. 
Court overindulgence, huh? 32% gold. Okay, 50, 50 gold paid to us. Absolutely, we want to take that. We're not able to drop our court amenities anymore. So for the moment, this is going to have to be fine. High blood pressure, huh? Severe penalty there. I think we're going to do this. Okay. There we go. So their force is right up over here. I want to get this city besieged. Six months on that. Okay. So that seems fine for the moment. We're at 49% war score. They are walking away from us. And this is a really, really good thing. Who is this? Our cousin? No. We'll set aside those chi childish thoughts. <laughs> okay. So we've got five months on this siege. They're coming down here and sieging this. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, no. I don't need your help. So we've got four months left on this siege. They are sieging here. They've got 50 days left on that. That's okay. I want to wrap this up. We're doing very well here. When can we... When, when can we extort subjects? That's going to be 1069. Sure. So we're in a bit of a pickle here right now, right? Financially, we're not really able to sustain the army that we have up here. This is not going to be a good long-term solution. We just finished up this siege. We need to walk south here. They finished their siege, unfortunately. And we need to take this back. Can we cut this force off? That would be fantastic if we could. The answer is no. We're going to lose seven stress here. That's okay. They are sieging here, and I really like that, actually. We've got 50 days left here. They have a similar amount of time. Okay. So this siege is a very interesting one. This guy wants to send us 191 gold. We accept that gift. Absolutely. Also, can we do anything about... Nope. Okay. That's uh, <laughs> going very badly. We want to come down here as soon as we can and get this taken back. Now, we're not going up here due to the plague that's up here. I want to come down and fight these guys. We're going to be defending in the mountains, and this is a really good position for us. So we should very easily win this battle. And indeed we are. Perfect. So that looks great. We're at 60% war score right now. Please leave. Okay, so that drops our stress level. And can we deal with this right now? No. No, we cannot. So we're at 60% war score right now. We win that battle, and that puts us at 77%. We're going to be able to take this location. Financially, we do have a problem here, of course. So we just finished up increasing control levels, and we should probably come down to Cordophon next. We'll get going on that. Okay. So... We're definitely having a financial issue at this point, right? That is absolutely for sure. I want to check through these. Yeah, I don't see any of that happening anytime soon. So this plague is clearing out of here. That looks good. We're going to head back up over here. We've won every single battle, but we can't really replace our men-at-arms right now. Ooh, another 191 gold. Yes, that is keeping us afloat. So we're going to walk up over here, and we'll be the defender here. So we should be fine. I think we're going to catch this force. One of these forces. Now, there's still plague here. That is understood. But we're going to have this battle. And yeah, they absolutely lose that battle. We're 88% here. And our cat is being a jerk. And we'll see what happens. We successfully grabbed might. And that lost us some stress. Beautiful. So that looks good. This siege is almost over. Summon the physician. And a soft approach. Okay. So that battle is done, right? Our battle score is capped to 50. We just had a successor for the most expert of the Mel Spears. We have mild prevention for this illness. And we've got six months on their capital siege. Once this is finished, this war is over. Do we want to assault this fort? 22 progress per day and 272 casualties. I think probably not yet. We got a large breach, so that will reduce the casualties. Where is their army at? 
as long as their army is here, or, or, or rather not here, I'd rather siege this. But if their army is going to show up and try to contest this, I'd like to assault it. Their army is here right now. They're just sitting there. So this is seeming okay. They're going this direction. Then the war's over. Beautiful. We don't need to assault this at all. Although there is a faction, and I'm not surprised about that. I think the moment we put our troops down, those factions are going to go away. Doomsday. Okay, root them out. That seems fine. So we obviously need to get out of this war, right? There we go. War is over. We enforce these demands, disband these troops. That is a large amount of additional territory over here in Abyssinia. So that is fantastic. And then beyond that, we now need to come out of debt, right? That is the top priority at this moment. Yes, we're going to take 10 gold. Absolutely. Okay, so we actually... Oh, our regent furthered our mandate and brought us out of debt here. That's perfect. That means that our men-at-arms are now able to regenerate, which is a very, very big deal, because now we are much more powerful on paper, and none of these factions are actually powerful enough to do anything. That is incredible. I love it. This ransom is probably not acceptable. Well, this is Nubia. You know what? We'll take the gold. That seems fine. We do need to get a new steward, and it will be this guy. Looks good. Okay. Excellent. So, gold is less of a de big deal at this point, right? We definitely are going to be having it be a big deal again in about 11 years. Our daughter fell ill. Speaking of which, what is our succession set up here? Okay, so we have two sons. That is going to be a bit of an issue later on, but we can deal with that. I'm not too concerned about it. Let's let our forces regenerate for a bit. That was a difficult war for us financially. Although, now that we've got Airgeld, that'll be a lot better. And once we get War Profiteer, Detailed Ledgers, this is going to continue to improve for us by a significant margin. How's our Hogan looking? He is not fully endorsing us right now. Okay. I am going to work on swaying our Hogan. We really don't care about swaying our sister at this point. We need to get her discharged, but there's not much we can do about it. We can leverage some piety to swing the scales of power here and drop her power level. But beyond that, there's not much we can do about her. She is very upset. And uh, apparently our court physician hates us. We lose 29 more stress here. That's good. That is very, very good indeed. And I'm wondering what she's so so upset about. Scared? Rival. I mean, yeah, obviously. We're going to throw this person in jail. She was plotting to murder us. She was our court physician. And we are glad that she failed on that one, for sure. Problems would ensue if we were murdered right now. That would definitely not be great. So, we're out of debt. We've got all of these structures completed for the moment. We're as good as we're going to get on our military for the moment, at least until some of these accolades rank up. What do we need at this point? We need tech. Okay, we'll take 50 gold. That's absolutely fine. We need tech. We need legitimacy. Building up our legitimacy is a very good thing to do right now, actually. So to that end, we can actually change this guy's contract. And I'm going to bump up his feudal taxes using the hook. So we'll modify that. That'll be fine. We can demand a few payments, and we should definitely do so. And we can also ransom off some of these prisoners. Now, this is a vassal. I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to ransom off all of these. That looks good. That'll bring in a fair amount of gold. And what are we going to do with that gold? We are going to convert that directly into legitimacy. Okay, so we need to create titles here. And how many titles do we need to create? Our legitimacy is lacking about 68. So we need to create four of these, 25 each. Uh, no, we need to create three. Okay, so we'll create the Duchy of Zamor. That is going to be up over here. That's going to go to this guy. There we go. We're going to create the Duchy of Bambuk. Excellent. That is going to go to presumably this guy in Bambuk. There we go. And finally, the Duchy of Dagomba. We're not going to create any others at this time. Not like we have cash to. 
but we're just going to do something like that. That should boost up our legitimacy level to true ruler level four. And that is high enough legitimacy to not be getting any penalties. So that is great. It is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, oh, might help us with some stress. Cool. Next episode, we are going to continue to work on conquering some of these other territories at our borders. We're definitely going to continue to press out and get Africa under our control soon enough. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.